again people well on my last video I made and uploaded I had a little problem with getting a failed export every single time I tried I couldn't seem to figure out what it was but I managed to pinpoint it because I thought the only thing I'd changed different was my new uh, little outro thanks for watching sequence yeah, I wanted to change it up a little bit because I'm still learning how to use the software so you know I added in a uh, what was it like subscribe and share They're not tabs or anything it is literally just text 3d text like it was uh, one of the filters and for some reason the program didn't seem to like it no matter what I could figure out what I was doing but I managed to replicate it on a smaller scale and pinpoint what the problem was and how I actually ended up getting around it. Now, I'll uh, recreate what I'd done so I can show you. If any of you out there tell me a good reason why it does this, uh, maybe it might help, but it's not really a problem as such, but it was just annoying. And for any of you out there that have this problem, this is a way around it that may help you. So let me just show you exactly the process I went through. So all we're doing is a simple little I already have that preset to black. Simple little uh, outro sequence I made. Uh, now I have to remember what I've done. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm going to bring it down to here. Uh, we don't even need it to be long, so let's just cut it down to like Say, right, let's just cut it here a second and see what we're at. Delete, get rid of this. Uh, we want it at like 10 seconds, really. God. We don't need it that long. Uh, I just get confused as to how long these little suckers are. Alright. Yeah. Okay, we'll call it a 15 second sequence. No, let's take it down to 10. I said 10, we're going to do 10. There's probably better ways to get it to 10, but okay. Right, we have a little 10 second sequence. Now I'm going to add in my uh, text filters. So 3D text, HTML. And this is the exact piece that I actually use, but I only do it for like 5 seconds but I recreate it and this actually has the same effect. So, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let me spell it in there. Yeah, I'm really messing this up now, so bad. <laughs> right. Okay, first filter. This works fine on its own. Second filter I add in. This works fine on its own. Then we add a couple more. This third one I added is when it started to fail, and with the fourth one. I tried it with just the two, and yeah, for some reason it's, it wasn't liking it. So, uh, the preset we have, share. So I'd do the full effect of what I actually used originally. Oh my gosh, I'm missing letters and swapping them around here and I here. That, that's terrible. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to blame my keyboard, because I am hitting the right freaking letters. Alright, share. And the final one like okay now this is it this is as simple as it, it needs to be <laughs> right now I'd save this failure test one okay now the export parameters I use high profile, 
compression, I would put it to 70. Uh, you can see the options I use. Everything is a standard. That's the only thing I, I generally change. Just take it down to uh, even up to 70%, so it compresses by 30%. That's it. Now we export. Failure test one. And you get the little box up here. By the way, as you can see, I'm using Shotcut Video Editor. It's free software, so it's very you know, handy to use if you want to do things on a very low budget. I haven't had any problems with the software up until now. There's always little bugs and glitches. But I mean, this one was just rattling my brain all night. And I just wanted to figure out why. I researched everyone online and I didn't want to go through the process of reading through the actual uh, the log to see what had actually happened. Now you see, we have a failed up here. Okay? Now, we're going to... One simple little thing changes that from a failed to a pass. Takes slightly longer, but it passes. Now, this option down here, parallel processing, from a few people in forums online I've been reading, seem to say that if you disable this, it will actually help things get a past export for some reason. So we're going to try that. Save as is, again, just to make sure everything's good. Still at 70, yep. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to export file, call it fail test 2. That's our first one that failed. Save, yes. Exporting. Creating the file so I can upload to YouTube. Ah, now, this one I'll actually be using because this one passes. I am hoping it passes because originally it did. I've tried it a few times and it runs fine. So, yeah, this is just to show you out there if you guys are having the same problem with this piece of software, this is uh, one little fix that you can do. Remember? Click the process parallel. Enables multiply image to process and thread. Sometimes can be a problem. Blah, blah, blah. You can read it yourself. I'm not going to bother because it's all there. But, there you go. We had a pass. Now, it took longer, 35 seconds, instead of like 9.21 seconds, but it was a straight through pass, which is cool. Again, I don't know what was causing the actual issue, but for any of you out there that have the same problem, that's one little fix for it, okay? I and mean, you can go through one thing I read on the view log, and scroll down to here. I was reading this. This line here kept on popping up and making me think this maybe have something to do with it. So I googled this and this kind of brought me to the one of my results of trying this e uh, parallel processing marker. So, you yeah. know, that was the result. But thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share, which will be at the end of this video. And catch you next Counter-Strike video. I'm aiming for that first place, whether it kills me. I need to get first. But take it easy, people. Have fun.